do you go in and thin the forest and allow some other trees to germinate? Do you go in and, and plant at different times or uh, putting in different species so that you have more of, of a mosaic of different canopy heights and different species coming in and coming out through the ecosystem? And when you're doing restoration project, you need to think about these gaps in the forest and how they're re-establishing themselves because it's part of the successional process. Some forests, when they're doing a, a conservation treatment to it, they'll actually go in and, and cut down trees and, and create some gaps so that you're actually allowing some of this mosaic to come in of different age structures. So when you're doing an ecological restoration project, you need to think about all these different aspects. You need to think about not only the big trees, the climax trees, but you need to think about all the, the primary successional trees and how do you get to this climax forest. Because it's, it's essential that we need these climax forests, these old growth forests, to occur more frequently in our landscape because there's a lot of species that, that need and depend on older forests.